morning friends, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I wanted to take this old picture frame. It's not necessarily that old. What I mean is there was a picture inside of this that I just didn't care for anymore, but you know how you just don't want to throw something away? So I took the backing off of this and took the older picture out and I'm going to do a reverse decoupage on glass and I'll show you how we can do this. Once I removed all of the cardboard from the back, I took the glass out. Now these edges are sharp, so you want to make sure you're careful with that. And you want to clean the glass off so that there's no fingerprints or any traces of oil on it. Then I took these napkins that had a larger pattern on them and I placed it over the glass to see which part of the napkin that I wanted to use and I used my larger scissors to cut out the main, piece of, the main piece of the napkin that I wanted to use. Then I took my smaller scissors and cut out each rose. Don't separate the napkin until you're all done cutting because it will make it really hard to cut. But I used my smaller scissors to then cut the rest of these. And I'm doing a reverse decoupage, so I flipped the images over to face outward and I removed the backing, so it's just the top layer that will be showing through the front. And I decoupage these down. And I am using a napkin decoupage glue. I'll have these products all on my website. If you click on the link below, it will take you to my website. I can't always find the exact napkins because they sell out rather quickly. Excuse me. So I will put the link to all types of other pretty napkins that you can use below. And I'm trying to stay just on the napkin, so I don't want to get the decoupage glue on the glass. And it's best to work from the center out one image at a time, applying this decoupage glue, and then we'll let it dry. And when you're all done, to be on the safe side, you can take a wet rag and go all around the glass to remove any extra glue that you may have around the edges. And while this is drying, I'm going to move on to my frame and use my favorite chalk paint to paint the whole surface. And I'm using chalk paint because there's no base coat necessary. And then I'm going to file any edges that I may have off the sides of this glass. And now again, because everything's dry, I am using this bin primer and you can see right here on the back that it says it's specifically for ceramic, glass, tile. It's perfect for this project. And what I'm doing is taking my glass panel, which is dry now, and this is the front, so you can see through to the flowers. This is the back. Now on this back piece right here, I am taking a piece of lace. You may be working on a much larger picture and you may need a few pieces of lace. What I'm doing is using the lace as a stencil and I'm just going down the center of this. And don't forget we're working on the back, the same area where you put the decoupage glue. And that's low tack tape on the sides. So I'm centering this lace, then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to tape this to the front with this low tack tape and I am going outside and I put a box down and I wanted to lean this up against a couple of things I don't want to spray this while it's flat I want it on its side and I'm going to use short quick spurts of this paint you do not want to go heavy on this at all you don't want it to run you just do short quick spurts until you've covered the whole back of it. And this will dry pretty quickly, but I'm going to lay it flat on top of that glass in back of it, just to make sure there's, there are no runs or anything like that, even though I went pretty lightly along this surface. And within about 15 minutes, this was all dry. I took the tape off and here is how the back of it looks. Look at that pretty lace print back there. And you can take 
the same backing that came with your picture and either paint it or put it back there. You want to experiment. I used a little bit of a distressed gray paint on this and here's the opposite of this color. If you use the color wheel, the all the colors have opposites. So orange would be the opposite of blue and the reason that that's helpful is because in pictures or paintings the opposite color makes something bold and it makes a statement i wanted something a little bit more muted so i chose to go with the gray side now if you put white back there your lace probably won't show up so you may want, want to just experiment with some different colors to go in back of that see what looks the prettiest to you and once I put my picture all back together, I took a little bit of distress ink and I just went around the frame in certain areas with the same gray color that I used as the background. It's a very light muted gray distress ink uh, as the background for my napkins. And once I put everything back together and this was dry, which was pretty immediately, this distress ink dries almost as quickly as you put it on there. This is how our picture looked. I always recommend that you start small. You could even find an old picture with a glass frame at a thrift store and try that so that you can work on a smaller scale. If, however, you feel confident enough to work on a larger picture right off the bat, if you have a large old picture in your house that you just like to replace, I have some beautiful Victorian Baroque uh, different romantic styles of floor and wall stencils on my website. So that is our pretty simple project for the week, my friends. I thank you so much for all of your comments and your questions and your support. Thank you for subscribing. Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And for those of you who helped me move my table video up closer to a million and who are still doing that, thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys. You are just great. Thanks again. Hey, DZ. Hope you're doing well. I'll see you next week with another video, guys. Bye-bye.